Here's how you can make this Garanji Distress Spray text effect here in After Effects. Create a new composition, I'm gonna go with 1080p, 25 frames per second, and I'm gonna increase it to six seconds, and also rename it as Grunge. Click OK. For the font, I'm gonna go with Bedoni Moda Regular. I'm also gonna stretch it to break the rules. Now let's go and click somewhere here to deselect the letter S, and we're gonna go to the rectangle, double click on it, and here at the fill, you can change up the color. I'm gonna go with black, click OK, and drag the shape layer under the text layer. Select both layers, right click, pre-comp, Rename it as text, click OK. Let's go and create a new solid, right click here, new, select solid, rename it blur comp, 1080p, click OK. Now let's go to the effects and presets, type in four color gradient. Drag and drop the four color gradient on the blur comp, and we're gonna recolor these as black and white. So I gotta go with the first two on white, second one white, third one black, and also the fourth black. Now let's go and activate the stopwatch at the point one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna bring it to the first second. And here I'm gonna mix up these points. So I'm gonna drag it and I'm gonna make a simple animation, something like this. So if I bring it back, it looks like this. Press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. And you can continue to animate the keyframes. So after you're done with the keyframes, I'm gonna go and uncheck this layer and collapse it. Let's go and right click here, new, select adjustment layer and rename it as blur. Now we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in compound blur. Drag and drop the compound blur on the blur layer. And we're gonna change up here the blur layer to the blur comp and source, select effects and masks. So now I'm gonna go and increase the maximum blur. And as you can see, it is going to blur out only the areas, which are basically the white areas. I'm gonna try it out with 120. Now it also has some square elements in it. So we're gonna to need to smoothen it out a little bit more. And for that, we're gonna to go to the effects and presets, search for camera lens blur. Drag and drop the camera lens blur under the compound blur. And the first thing we're gonna to need to do is change up the layer to blur comp, source, effects and masks. And if I go to the blur radius and increase it, you can see it is going to make the blur even more smoother. All right, so let's add some grunge, right click here, new, and let's create another adjustment layer, rename it effects, and I'm gonna go to the effects and presets, type in noise, and drag and drop the noise on the effects, and I'm gonna increase it, I'm gonna go with 45, uncheck use color noise, let's go back to effects and presets, search for threshold. Now let's drag this under the noise, and here you can set up the threshold, I'm gonna decrease the level, now this grain, it is going to be too strong and we're gonna to need to reduce the sharpness of it. So for that, we're gonna add another blur. Let's go to facts and presets, type in fastbox blur. Let's drag it under the threshold and I'm gonna increase the blur radius to 0.6. Now it looks better, but we're gonna to need to sharpen it also. So we're gonna to go to the facts and presets, type in curve and drag it under the fastbox. And here I'm gonna increase the contrast quite a bit. Now it looks way better. I'm also going to add another noise, select the noise, press Ctrl D to duplicate and drag it under the curves and decrease it. I'm going to go with 20 and not but least I'm going to drag and drop a texture and let's go to the blend mode, change it to screen. Now if you don't have the blend mode, you can click on toggle switch. I'm also going to work on the contrast, so I'm going to go to the effects, type in curve, drag it on the texture and I'm going to increase the contrast. So it's gonna look something like this. I think it looks pretty dope. I'm also thinking to go back to the effects and maybe decrease the threshold a little bit more. And this is how I make this grungy distress effect here in After Effects. Thanks for watching.